I just wanted to touch on being a single mom and living alone, having to work 24 seven, just to be able to keep up with bills. Um, you know, majority of my income is what supports the kids and I don't have very much income. So I literally have to grind, grind, grind and make money every day in order to stay afloat. And that's just stay afloat. My head is still sink, sinking, you guys. Like I'm probably, the water is probably up to here for me. Like I can, <laughs> listen, y'all see what I'm trying to get at? The water is up to here on me, you guys. I'm, I'm, I'm pretty much drowning. And it's like, when you talk to people about this stuff, <clears throat> excuse me, y'all, trying to talk loud. My voice is cracking. When you talk to people about this stuff or try to, you know, have somebody understand where you're coming from, they like to say, oh, well, go get a second job or go get a man, um, go get a side hustle, all this stuff. I got side hustles, y'all. Y'all already know that. So, you know, they like to say, oh, go do this, go do that. And it's like, I don't mind working. I, you know, y'all, my work ethic is so crazy. Like, I'll work till the wheels fall off. I'll work to death. I'll kill myself working. That's how much I don't mind working because I know that I have to make money and I know that I have to take care of these kids. But when people say that stuff, it just makes me think in the back of my head, like, do y'all know that if I was to literally work 24 hours a day, seven days a week, that I would never see my kids? Why does Not life her. have to be like this? Why it do doesn't. we have to be away from our kids in order to make money in today's world? Why do we have to be away from our kids 24-7 in order to be able to have a roof over our head? It shouldn't be like this. This is the world that you guys wanted. What are we, what are we talking about? You guys, feminism 4.0 or whatnot, you guys wanted to go out and leave the house and work. And now we're in an economy now in order for your family to survive. You and your husband have to work. So guess what? You got to take him to uh, daycare pay for a nanny or a babysitter. That's even more money. When back then, you just stayed at home, you cooked, you cleaned, and took care of the kids while the man had all the turmoil and the hard work. But now both of you have to be hard working in order for the shit to work. Women and their logic, man. The cost of living is inhumane of course. The cost of goods and services is inhumane, you guys. This is not normal. And it makes me so upset because people are always like, oh, you're always complaining about, you know, how you're struggling and how you can't do this and that. Yeah, because I'm a single mom of three kids. I'm going to complain all day. It's hard. It's not easy. So I wonder why people make it seem like this is so easy. Whoa, 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 whoa. I hadn't watched this video, guys. Did this woman just say she's a single mother of three kids? Where is, is your baby dad? Where is that child support? She got, she got, she got some more talking to do. I think because I'm talking about it and I'm saying something about it, it triggers some people. I don't know why. You're an idiot. But, um, yo, I'm doing DoorDash, so I got some orders popping up. All right, my bad, you guys. I just picked up a DoorDash order. Um, but it's like, I don't even know where I was at y'all, but I'm just wondering why do we have to work this hard? I want to tell you guys right now, every month I'm 
one month away from being homeless. Every single month, you guys, I cannot afford my rent every single month. But I sit here and I do everything that I can to scrape up this money to try to pay this rent every single month. But every month, I don't have it. I'm going to just keep it 100 with you guys. I don't have it. But I get up every day and I try to get it every day. Some of y'all know I'm working a job that pays nothing, you guys. It pays $18 an hour. I don't even get full-time hours at the job. So when I'm spending, you know, days at the job, the commute to the job and then the commute home is a full, full, full day. My kids are being watched by somebody for a full, full, full day. I didn't make enough money for that day, you guys. So I have to come out here and do DoorDash and Uber Eats and all this stuff to make extra money. I had already spent my full, full, full day going to this $18 an hour job. And then I have to tend to kids after that because nobody can watch my kids for 24 hours. So I got to get the kids. And then sometimes, y'all, I got to take the kids with me out dashing. And we're out all day, all night sometimes dashing because that's what I have to do in order to stay afloat. I don't get any type of rental assistance. I don't get any type of, you know, benefits except food benefits, you guys. And the food benefits that I do get, it's not full food benefits because I'm working. So when I run out of those benefits for the month to feed the kids, I got to spend cash on food because that's just what it is. And y'all, I'm not complaining in this video. I'm literally just ranting to you guys, venting you guys, telling you guys what it is for me. I know this. This is the problem. This is the problem with the black community. This, she's the reason why there's so many gang bangers in the hood because she's out not supervising them. So they seek parental and male figures from gangs. She's the epitome of strong and independent. Not once did she bring up her man or the men she slept with that could potentially help her. She hadn't even brought up the solution of getting a man or getting the man that impregnated you three times or the men, one of the men that impregnated you two or three times. Plus, she has three kids. So the her finding another man, quality man, and put up with her BS, that's over. She's fucked. There's no other way around that. Her only hope is to get back with one of the men that got her pregnant. Hopefully that bridge isn't burned. This is how women get into these goofy situations. And it's all their fault. Why would you get pregnant without a man to help you out? in parenting with money, protection. I'm still anxious to see if she's going to bring up this man. Let's, let's continue, guys. A little bit further. This is probably what it is for a lot of other people, too. But I'm just speaking about it. So I know I'm going to get opinions, and I know I'm going to have people saying, you know, what they want to say. That's cool. I always tell you guys I made this channel to speak my mind. And... I got to talk. I got to talk about it, y'all. <laughs> so to me, it's really baffling when when I when I talk to people about this and people make it seem like life is not hard. This is hard. Every hard. single day having to get up and make money seven days a week. There's not a day that I can really take a break, you guys. Sometimes I'll sit around and like lounge around for a little bit and try to rest and, you know, just you know get some rest because my body be running 24 24 24 all the time and so some some days i'll take a day like a sunday or something and chill the whole day but me chilling that whole day is detrimental because i don't got money i don't got i don't got money to keep up with all these bills um 
you know, I pay somebody to watch my kids. Like nobody's watching my kids for free. So when I am out here making money, them people are getting paid. And it's just like, it's never ending you guys. And it seemed like the cost of living is only getting worse. Things are only getting more expensive. I don't think things have never went down. So it's confusing to me how people, they ask me why I'm complaining. This is not easy. Maybe people who are saying that are people who get who have Section 8 or they have a spouse or they have some type of help. But when you're a single mom and you don't have no help, nobody's helping you pay the bills, um, paying full rent. Like I told you guys, I don't get no rental assistance paying full rent. This is not easy. Sometimes I sit up here and I wonder, you guys, I used to live in a luxury apartment, $2,600 for a two bed, two bath apartment, you guys. Sometimes I wonder how I was even doing that by myself, but I was. But I'm gonna tell you guys right now, I got zero sleep when I was living in that apartment because I had to bust tail. Now that I downgraded to a one bedroom, one bath for $1,600, you guys, I'm still having a bust tail because I'm still not making enough money to, to keep up with that, you know? So, I'm just really wondering like how people are doing this. Um, and I know how they're doing it. They're working two and three and four jobs because you have to, there's nothing else to do. As far as the job goes, jobs are not paying people enough money and lots of good jobs are not hiring. Now, I'm not gonna say that jobs are not hiring at all because there are jobs that are hiring. I mean, I have a job, but it's like, Ooh, guys, dang, she did that turn wide. I have a job. Hold on, y'all. Let me check to see where I'm at real quick. Use left. Use left lane. Take C Street Ramp, Washington 18. All right, y'all. I just had to see where I was at. Turn right on the C Street. You guys, about two weeks ago, I was driving down um, one of the highways in my area where I live at work taking a client to their doctor's appointment, you guys. Um, I do medical transport. So I was driving, you guys, in the middle of driving. I literally passed out and woke back up. And I'm like, whoa, what was that? And, you know, I went to the doctor, talked to the doctor about it. They checked my blood pressure, all that stuff. My blood pressure was high y'all my blood pressure was high and they were like are you under a lot of stress what's going on like are you drinking enough water are you resting all this stuff and I'm like yes like I have to answer yes to all those questions because yes I am under stress yes I'm, I'm drinking I'm probably not drinking enough water but I'm trying to drink water but I gotta work and I gotta do all this stuff and um they ask are you resting I'm like as much as I can but I have to get up and work I have to get up and be a mom I'm a single mom. I have to do this. And they're like, well, you need to take better care of yourself because you only have one life, all this stuff. And I totally understand that. We only have one life. But the world that we live in is making us have to be, to, to work like we're a robot, to work like we don't only have one life, to work like our life is unlimited. I'm so scared for the future of my kids. I'm scared for my future. I'm scared right now, you guys, because it really seems like we are not, we're going to have to work until we die. Literally. We're gonna yep. Yep. So your problem, this woman's problem, is you need a man. That's your problem. You need a man. A man. That's the only way you're going to get out of this situation. The only way she's going to get out of this situation is getting a man. She doesn't have time for anything else. She talks about you're going to work till you die. Yeah. Yeah. Maybe you should have thought about that. Your financial situation before you had three 
kids. And she still hasn't mentioned that part. And I'm going to skip around because I'm about sick of this complaining because she's virtue signaling. This is what women do when they get to struggling. And some of you simps going to get out there, jump out there and send her a hundred dollars and all that stuff. And then she's going to pat you on the head like you a good boy. Let's skip around and see if she brings up his man. I'm going to have to work until camera angles crazy. A hundred jobs, a hundred good paying jobs that I think I would qualify for because of the certifications that I have, you guys, and have not got hired at one job. Every day I get an email saying, sorry, we decided to pursue other candidates. Unfortunately, you know, the job market is shit right now. It is what it is. There's a lot of people in our pool and we decided to go with the person that best qualifies for this position, all this stuff. Y'all. Plus the same woman that's going to vote for Kamala Harris. Furthering her problem in the first place. All the jobs are going to immigrants and across seas being outsourced. Like you literally have to keep calling these places. Keep voting. So what is going on in today's world? But it is not. People always tell me, oh, you need to take a vacation. You need to go relax. You're overly stressed. You're overly worked. I'm like, is that possible to do? Is it possible? Hell no, nah, not for you. Possible to go take a vacation and then come home and all your bills will be paid? Is that possible to do? No, it's not. Like, and I'm not talking to the ones that are financially free, have, you know, making $500,000 in that position, but <laughs> I don't know, man. I'm trying to be positive about everything. I'm trying to speak, you know, financial freedom into existence for myself. But what I'm dealing with right now is crazy. Like, what are y'all doing to get financially money? If you, I don't know, and some people just get lucky. I don't know. I'm in poverty. I'm one bill away from being homeless. Um, every month I could be homeless every single month you guys and y'all know i just came from being homeless back in may so oh my god oh my god bro i can't i can't watch no more of this I, people be fucking up their own lives at their own and it'd be their own fault too and they don't even see it bro oh my god this is the modern woman. This is her mindset. And this is how she's going to struggle going forward. There's so many things going wrong in society. She's just, she's going to be, she's screwed. She's screwed. And she don't even realize how bad she's screwed. She's starting to realize it a little bit, but it's a little bit worse than what she, think it, she thinks it is. So that's my video ladies avoid this position that this woman is in right please be smarter with your box right don't forget to like comment subscribe see you guys in the next one man peace